There was a very satisfied air to the proceedings at Newark Airport this morning as representatives of the Transportation Security Administration and United Airlines unveiled the final phase of their automated screening lanes, the ASLs. Touted as a high-tech solution to long lines at check-in, TSA officials were crowing about how much more pleasant this part of your commute is going to be. Airports in the future must be about moving from reservation to destination through an in almost invisible yet integrated ecosystem of distributed security with less stress and frustration for passengers and screeners and most importantly less vulnerability. So on these lanes there's four divest stations. So you're divesting four people at a time. So there's four individuals divesting their stuff, they put their stuff in a the bin, they push their bin on a roller, they go through screening. It's a much more efficient process. Efficient? It looks like it, although aside from the conveyor belt automation, a human screener still has to look at the contents of your baggage by the x-ray machine like they always do. Because it's more organized, it's more secure. It doesn't give you any, you know, stronger uh, defenses, does it? Well, I actually believe it does in, in, in the sense that if you could just imagine a congested checkpoint that doesn't have a lot of organization around it and is a bit haphazard, um, you know, the TSA has to also deal with keeping that organized. But if you have automation that's helping you keep it organized, there are other tasks that the TSA can better focus on. If I'm bringing in a laptop and I can switch out uh, whatever hardware I need to turn it into an explosive device, is this going to stop me from doing that? Yes, it will. Explain. Yes, so we have the automated screening lanes that are integrated with our security checkpoint that has all of the latest uh, and up-to-date technologies to be able to detect threats. To be clear, security protocols that would stop a would-be bomber are the same security protocols that have been in place here. This is about getting you into the next security phase more efficiently. But better security is in the eye of the beholder and perhaps the patience of the passenger. Today, passengers seem to like the faster line, even if the security benefit wasn't exactly obvious. Oh yeah, I do this every week. It was, uh, before they opened this, it was snaking all the way downstairs, so. So an improvement? So far, people are still figuring it out. More efficient? Very efficient. Yes. Yes. Do you feel safer as a result? Not so bad. I mean, I want to be safe, but I want to get on my flight on time. So I'm happy with how it's going. It's only five to 10 minutes. It's better than an hour. This is new technology, and it has the capability for enhancements in the future. Not only can you build it out, but there are new uh, potentially emerging technologies that can very easily be integrated into the newer systems as compared to the older systems. Right, but just in terms of the new technology, the primary new technology is geared towards efficiency. In other words, you can't see anything that you couldn't see before. Not yet. The airline and the TSA say that this system is more efficient and that these efficiencies will result in happier and theoretically safer passengers. Although they add they won't be a substitute for a patented TSA pat-down. At Newark Airport, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.